Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we were uh, quite a ways out <laughs> from the city, uh, right here, actually. And uh, I had tested out a lot of the new 1.5 patch on uh, dealing with these bozos over here. But, now that I'm done with that, it is now time to get to, well, story content. So, we're going to meet Takamura in the city. So, back we go. And we're almost to the next level of street cred, so... After we're done with that, we'll farm a little bit of that. Okay, got a pickup truck for sale. Perfect for moving heavy equipment and maybe the occasional dead body. Okay, interested? If that's a yes, then let me see you got... Let me give you some advice straight off the bat. Nothing washes off blood better than warm water mixed <laughs> with vinegar. One to one. Of course, car's gonna smell like a jar of pickles after, but that's not a crime as far as the NCPD's concerned. I mean, true. Alrighty. Whoop. Almost completely missed that turn. I only partially missed it. <laughs> I salvaged it. It's fine. Whoop okay. And into town we go. And we turn right here. Whoop. Whoopsie doodle. It's fine. Alrighty. Turn left. With uh, <laughs> 1.5 kilometers, it's telling me it's going to be a long drive, so maybe I should uh, try and fast forward this. Should I? I passed by an assault in progress, I guess. Oh. Okay. There is something going on here. I'm just not sure what it is. Going to breach protocol it because it's probably for the best if I do that. Yeah, that'll work. BD E9 55 E9. Say everything in one go. And also makes it more vulnerable to my attacks. Okay, Militex. Got it. Short circuit. Boom. Okay. And the bug with looting robots is still not completely fixed. Okay. Oh, yeah? Uh. Oh! They're Militech people. Wonder why they're angry with me. Oh, well. Um, going to short circuit. And synapse burnout. And I'm apparently getting fired at from behind. Joy. And you're down. Goodbye. Hi there. <laughs> well, some of my shots hit. Not all of them. Well, <laughs> if you're going to get out of here, speed up. I managed to blind a robot. That is hilarious to me. Okay. Fire, fire. Yeah? 
You're not doing a good job so far. Just saying. All right. Um, infantry scout. Let's do another combo like that. Let's do another wombo combo. They're using some... Using more cover than I figured they would. Fire, fire. Oh, of course. Now you want to use grenades. Got you down. Bye. Goodbye. Oh geez, there's a lot more of these guys than I thought. Okay, well, time to use the first grenade in a while. Okay, well that didn't work out, did it? What? What were you thinking? Okay. All of y'all have been using. Flashbangs. That was stupid. Okay. Hi there. Got you. Goodbye. Jeez, that, that actually got me. That was one of the first flashbangs I actually did anything. Okay. <laughs> You're calling for a medic when all the rest of your buddies are dead. Good job. What the hell did they do here? Why? Jesus. Oh my god. They were just... They were just executing them. What the hell did they do? I mean... Technically, they're not going to use this anymore, but still, what the heck did they do? Whoa. What the hell is this? Well, this is a... <laughs> well, I would be remiss if I didn't. Oh, yeah? Will you now? You popped out of literally nowhere. <laughs> literally nowhere. But it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to be attacking you anyway. Hygiene bag. Yeah. Hygiene bag. Uh-huh. At least those robots give me the parts. Reliably. But the... Oh. Nope. Nope. There we go. Might as well put my gun away. I think the danger has passed. I should probably drink that. There we go. And then take your stuff. Synaptic accelerator ready? Well, I mean, I figured it would be. Ooh, an Omaha. Ooh. That explains why he felt good enough to 
attack me. Quadra Turbo. Ooh. Parked at the attached coordinates. I suspect it will not stay available for long since it is a good machine and there is no shortage of buyers. If life has taught me anything, it is to seize an opportunity as soon as it appears, for it might only happen once. You can think about that while you gather the money to pay. Mm hmm. Well, I'll get to that. I will get to that. Trust me, I will. Maybe not soon, but I'll get to that. Jesus. I'm just finding more bodies as I go around. I just want to see how many shots <laughs> it took to blow it up. Answer was not many. Impressive. Rather impressive. Not going to lie. Okay. Karenzikov allows you to aim and shoot while sliding or dodging. But that replaces my I'm pretty sure that replaces my uh, deck, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I got a lot of money off of that. Dang. Okay. What was this? Militech Officer 9482 reporting. Status. Striker is not responding to orders. Give them a final warning. Done. No response. Workers continue to block factory entrance. Oh my gods, they were strike breakers? Now I don't feel as bad for killing them all. That didn't take all that many shots. Then again, it was also using an explosive tank to finish the job, but still. They were firing on strikers. so much nicer if I could actually blow their heads off after the fact. But no. No, I'm not allowed that. Only during combat. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, fuck this thing. I don't need it. Okay. Uh, I left my car on the other side. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I could call it over to me. I can. Thank you. Get in. And whoop. Alrighty. And away we go again. Boy, oh boy. Well, considering how long our trip is going to be, let's just fast forward till the next spot, shall we? Alrighty, here we are. Meet Takemura. Where are you? In here? Ha! Huh. It's like a movie theater. At least I'm hoping that's what it is. Oh, it's an elevator to the market. Okay. Oh, trying to pick up my can quietly. Didn't let me do that. Ooh, pretty. Alrighty. And he's sitting over there. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. 
Suits no one spark, He's got the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired Officers? some information of my own. Oh yeah? Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Mm -hmm. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. That's... The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Hmm. Uh, where? The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I okay. could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealing, I learned more about the floats. Mm -hmm. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shot. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> I'd actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. Yep. This is good to know. Let us move on. Alrighty. Okay, so it's gonna pass Stay through here. Take control of the float is one thing, but not all. Mm -hmm. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. Well, duh. I will be an easy target. Well, yeah. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Hmm. Huh. Think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. That's fair. No, I get it. And now... What would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You is must it? get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Alright. Camera control room is over there. I wonder if anyone's going to notice me waltz right in. Oh, relax. At least I could break into it. Okay. Man, there's a lot of journals around here, too. Um, Matapang decaf. Watson Horde Diary. Oh, uh, I think I've already... I think I've already read that one, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. I have to pick that up for sure. 
Six in Chrome. Already read that. Picking up a lot of ones I've already read. Fucking worked. Cool. Don't really get any sort of tactile response into how it worked, but at least we know it worked. Alrighty. Uh, still some bugs, I guess. And that guy ran off. It's fine. And two bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. I mean, true. The shard walks. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Mm-hmm. Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Okay. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. It's tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. Oh, yeah? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. Okay. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Okay. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Cool. Thank you. I have some of this myself. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. This your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Good. Good. Louder! Louder! What? You already know her. In the flesh. He eliminated the vast obstacle between himself and the complete power. And they surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. 
Get a little more of this. There we go. And we got factions inside our Osaka. What are they? There are three: Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The mm -hmm. liminal wing, Hato, support Michiko-sama, Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. Mm. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Gotcha. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. Yeah, it's at, at this point, it's getting complicated. Just best to keep it to three for now. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him. In person. Fair enough. I'm gonna take the last bite of this. And done. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at the critical moment, he showed a weakness for Yorinobu, for his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. I see. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. <laughs> okay, we start the recon. Come. I have found a good place to observe. Uh huh. We must just climb up here. Fair enough. Blue. Now this way. Okay. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. Seems like it. Good. Head to the roof. Not the conversational type. Fair enough. <laughs> Whee. All right. Spray paint. I would call this a beautiful view of the city. If, if, if there was anything to admire, hate Night City that much. Hmm. Perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Okay. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. Fair enough. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Well, here's how Shall we begin? Fair enough. Go over the plan with Takamura. Huh. To 
Columbus Freight. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming that's what we have to go after. <laughs> I can scan him. That's silly. All right. Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? <clears throat> Take out the food? No. Just no. Aw. If I had the time and the ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. Mm, that actually sounds pretty damn good. No, even better. With umeboshi plums. Mm, Arasaka sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, fried on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. <laughs> okay, enough. Well, we'll both grow hungry. Already there, dude. Let's do this. Alright, scan in the area. Pipes. See him? Uh, pipes. Not there. Where are the pipes? Where are the damn pipes? We could use them to get inside. True. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Mm hmm. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Fair enough. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. This is not bad. <laughs> Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Understandable. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. That's a good idea. Whoa. Got eyes in the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. I think that covers... Everything I can... Whoa, wait. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes. We go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Yep. Absolutely. Speaking of comfy. <coughs> oh, dear. What? No sudden movements. Oh, Do kitty. you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. Mm -hmm. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanecho. Bacchanecho? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I. 
bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Don't we all? Childhood memories. Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corporal rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations right. need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments, the masses attached to feeders, cynics, nihilists like you. Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compeki. We both have lost someone important, and we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we.
Fair enough. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. Yeah, I might not look it, but I definitely feel it. We will meet on Santa Ana Street. I am waiting by the construction site. It is visible from a distance. See you soon. Okay. Turn to street level. Okay. I heard someone dying. It definitely sounded like it anyway. Down to ground floor we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, I hope we don't have to jump into this mission right away, because I would rather get into some other missions nearby first. But I might not have a choice in the matter. I'll be in touch. The diversion reaction, that is mine too. Fair enough. Alright. And now, there we go. Hmm. I guess from here I can do whatever I really want. Interesting. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the missions that are around here oh uh that one actually won't be too bad and I just need to get my car over here or not All right. Okay. Alrighty. And it was over here that it's at. Why won't it let me track the waypoint? All right. Whatever. I guess I just gotta figure out. Path. All right, go this way and then a right here should let me I'm sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. Good. Thanks. I'll try to find it and reset. All right. Rancho Coronado. That's the one. Okay. So Rancho Coronado is the one. That's the one. Perfect. And track objective. Gives it a little bit easier time to find it. Here. 
Something's going on over here. Dude, you okay? Damn. Reported crime. Okay. Well. Which one do I have more ammo for? Technically this one. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Sixth Street Gang. I don't feel bad for messing with them, but at the same time. Huh. I think, yeah, I think I got the path. 5-1-C, five, 5-5-E-9. Five, five, Beautiful. Worked out beautifully. And got them all infected with what I wanted. And they're weak to... Well, they're kind of weak to everything I got. So let's go with Short Circuit. And then Synapse Burnout. Oh, yeah? Okay. Then overheat on you. And then synapse burnout on you. There we go. And short circuit. Maybe while I'm waiting for it to... Nope, didn't work out. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a good job at it so far, I think. Okay. Lexington, okay. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Mm -hmm. Claws could stand to get the same makeover. I'm familiar with this story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. You sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mobs didn't turn things around by sitting on their tans and toned asses doing nothing. Fair. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds would take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Gotcha. Michael Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. Hmm. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Fair enough. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. Alrighty. How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. Okay. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. Okay. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. 
on the balcony. Got it. Balcony. Gotcha. Okay. Messages. Uh huh. Yeah. Got a thing. Oh, so this is the reported crime. First things first, you'll get a cut that'll make all your doubts about this disappear. And now, this is what you're going to do for us. You go to work, pick up some stuff on the way. Some good chooms will come to you with gifts, so no worries. You toss the goods around the yard, on the kitchen, whatever you want. Say what you want, just make sure the kite flies right. You keep your head on straight, you'll be chilling in a penthouse and ordering the best joy toys. We clear? Clear. Toss them to the kitchen, they'll spread them around. Just know, you snitch, you swing. Boys will start coming by tomorrow. Later. Okay. Well. I'll leave one behind. I don't see why not. Alrighty. Well, we are a little over time for this episode, but there has been a lot going on in this episode, so I'm not too surprised it took this long. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, hey, look at that. We're almost there to 40. It's been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to, well, get further in the story a little bit. And also trying to bring us up to 40 street cred so we can get a better deck, which we will be getting soon. Um... Yeah, I think that just about covers it. We had a nice little talk with Takamura and another nice little talk with Judy about possibly getting clouds on board with the mocks. That would be something. It'd be pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> I think that's probably a good move on her part. So I'll see how that goes for me and for you.